Switch. And here's your host, Tom O'Connor. Thank you, and welcome to the show where there's never, of course, a crossword. Let's meet the four people who are going to play crosswords for you. Let's meet Tony Thresher. Hi, Tony. Hello, Tom. How are you? Very well, indeed. And, of course, Good. you, sir, looking all smart and proud, I would imagine, in your rugby union referees sweater. That's it, yes. Very proud. Somerset Referee Society. Right. How long have you been a fully qualified ref? A couple of seasons. And it's, well, it, it looks good. You look dead fit and what I'm have you. Well, I, look, I feel dead sometimes, but uh, <laughs> I, I like to feel I'm reasonably fit. <laughs> I've got to tell you, I mean, it's nothing to do with referees or anything, but when we were talking earlier on in the makeup room, you couldn't see a thing without them glasses. Absolutely right, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how many players tell me the same afterwards, too. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind. We're, we're delighted to have you on the show, and I'm glad that you've got the glasses on, because you get a, a better look, of course, at a lovely lady Absolutely. who's sitting beside you there. Miss Carol Vorderman, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm going to be on my best behaviour today. You, yes. Oh, definitely. So what would you do, uh, like you did yesterday, really? Do nothing and let the other fella do all the work, <laughs> exactly. really? That's what I've been telling you for the last half an it's hour. It's amazing. I mean, it's so... It's, uh, did you see yesterday's show? Yeah. He was incredible. Yes. He was incredible, that bloke, wasn't he? I know. He was Young brilliant. Peter. He deserved the holiday. Yes, he did. He deserved two holidays, actually. Well, like, so wherever you are, Peter, yes. We'll, <laughs> <laughs> you deserve two holidays. We'll give you your fur back as well. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, good to, good to have you with us, Carol. And, of course, Thank nice you. to meet the other lo lovely lady, Constance Coolick. That's right, because yes. Because from Essex? Yes. yes, from... And you were actually baptised in Lourdes, weren't you, in France? Yes, I was. Yes. Now, this lady, believe it or not, was baptised by mistake. Entirely by mistake. <laughs> it was a horrible error. Because the, the la there was a problem in the language. She's not a Roman Catholic, but when she was baptised, she's actually low church Protestant, aren't you? That's right, yeah? yes, yes. But yes. they baptised her by but, mistake. Uh, yes, um, we thought we were queuing for some water, holy water. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're multi-blessed, Constance. Yes, not, not only spiritually, yes. but also with your partner. Here's a oh, fine absolutely. player yes. of CrossFit, Mr. Yes. Richard Whiteley, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> good to have you back, boss. A good, good day yesterday. Good well, score. I was sort of getting my eye in yesterday, Tom, and today mm. I hope to get the rest of my brain in. <laughs> <laughs> 115 points or something. It was a good yeah. score. Yeah. It was quite a good score. I, I think it's your day today because, uh, you see, Carol may just be tempted to chip in and help her partner, in which case you'll, you, it's a landslide for you. <laughs> 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 he says, stirring it up quickly. Before he, he rushes into the first puzzle of the day. Let's get on with it. Right on. Come on. Here's the first puzzle. Six clues, six answers, each one worth a point per letter, don't forget. But we are looking for the link between the answers, the keyword. Here's a clue word to help us. It's air. And Constance and Richard have won the toss and they're going first. Four across, please. The city that has its rose on the D. Wrexham. Good answer, but not right, I'm afraid. I would have fitted to. Tony and Carol. Four across. Aha, she lives around there, of course. <laughs> the city that has its rose on the D. Chester. Yes, it's Chester. Bonnie Chester. <laughs> Just before, before I come to you, Tony, it's the rows of shops and things, isn't it? Isn't, isn't that the arcades in oh. Chester? That's yes, what it gets the rows, yes. Yeah, the rows. Yes. OK, sorry, Tony, you think the key word is? Charlie or Charles? It is. Would you believe it is? Well done. <laughs> you got it from, from Charlie Chester, I'm presumably. I'm older than I look, you see. You are older <laughs> yes. than you look. By Joe, if you are. So, well done. Carol, it started again. I You're know, doing it's nothing. fantastic. Look. Yeah, but I did do something. I got Chester. Well, you did, and then yeah. you... What's yes, we talked about it while he thought. <laughs> OK, they, they are all Charles. Charles is heir to the throne. One across would have been Charlie Drake. My darling. Six was Peace. Uh, two down would have been Charles Atlas, the strong man. Three down, Charles Groves, the conductor. And five was Charles Lamb, the essayist. And, of course, you've got Drake and Chester, the comedians, and Charles Peace was the Victorian serial killer, apparently. Mm. Oh. I didn't know that. No, there you are. Well, a lot of talking and very little happening in the score front. I mean, Constance <laughs> and Richard stayed on north, but Tony and Carol have 17. <laughs> uh, it could be Dan Hurford here, <laughs> So on to another round. Here comes the puzzle. Don't forget, it's a musical round. We're looking for the title of a well-known song. We're looking for two words in the song title. And the clue word is ninth, Tony and Carol. Uh, one down. Mm. This time, it runs right through to January. Seasonal. Seasonal. No, good idea. Mm. Constance and Richard. Uh, one across, please. Those of wine and roses are numbered. Days. Days, Days of wine and roses. <laughs> Tony and Carol. One down again. 
This time it runs right through to January? December. December does, of course. Mm. <laughs> Councillor yes. Richard? Yes. Um, two down, please. Such a sharp shock from a wee dram. Short. Yes, a short, sharp shock. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Yes. And two words they are? September song. Yes, well done. For it's a long, long time from, from May, May to December, December, and the days go short. So three across would have been long, <laughs> four was going to be time, <laughs> and five was May. Know. So you didn't know he could no, sing? No, I didn't know he could sing. There, there you are, you mm -hmm. sing. You're learning things as you go along. Well done. Yes. <laughs> Who actually got that? Was that Constance or you? Between us. It was a joint effort, I would say. Are we not prepared to divulge what goes on between two partners? It's a personal matter at this time of day. So right, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Oh, sorry I spoke now. <laughs> Well done, September song is right, and that's made a difference because Constance and Richard are up to 19 now. Tony and Carol hanging on, though, with 25. So let's go on to our mystery round. Here comes the puzzle, no clue word. Hopefully one team gives me one correct answer, guesses the key word and wins this cordless telephone. Okie doke. And Tony and Carol are leading. Choose a clue. One across, one, yeah? Yes, one, uh, one across, yes. She'll give you a quick kiss. Keep it up. Mm, good clue, that. Constance and Richard? Two across, please. Lorna Doon's brother gets into the joint. Carver. Yes, Carver Doon is right. <laughs> Press your buzzer and tell me what the keyword might be for a telephone. Have a guess. Won't cost you anything. Yes? Um, joint? Meat. Well, it isn't actually, and we had the, the joint thing in the yes, clue as well. So we're going to say joint, then we, yeah. then we retracted. That's why we yeah. said no. Yes. Okay. No. Look, the, the telephone is gone. There's no harm done. We'll just give you a, a clue word now, which says cider. Tony and Carol were playing for points. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, one down. Bird on a stool, coo. Pigeon. Yes, stool pigeon. Stool pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. How do you think it is? Uh, types of furniture. No. Chairs. <laughs> like, as in pigeon chairs? Uh, no, as in a carver chair of pigeons. Oh, I see. No. <laughs> I think we're struggling. No, I think we are. Yeah, they, they get it yeah, She's got Chester, right? She's on a run now. OK. <laughs> Sorry, Constance and Richard, apologies about that. <laughs> right. One across, please. One across. She'll give you a quick kiss. Keep it up. Pecker. Yes. <laughs> Keep the pecker up. Tony and Carol? Uh, three across. Orchestral players with inflated ideas. Uh, tune. No. Mm. Uh, three Richard. across, please. Orchestral players with inflated ideas. Wind. Wind oh. section, yes. <laughs> Tony and Carol. Three, three down. down. A common or garden spineless wretch. Worm. Yes. <laughs> Constance and oh. Richard? Oh. Oh. Got to be four across. I've moved on. Sorry, oh, folks. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yes. All right, we'll be going for four across. The warder who waits his turn. Um. Screw. Yes, they call him a screw. Yes. <laughs> Cattle is praying that you don't guess it. Go on, press We're going to say something. Go on. Driver. <laughs> no, no, it isn't. As in worm driver, no. Yes, wine no, okay. driver. And, and you, yes. Nobody more delighted than Miss Vaughan. Mean, she's dancing. <laughs> yes, would you like to press your buzzer, dear? And you think it's? Wood in front of the word. They're all woods. Woodpecker, <laughs> wood pigeon. <laughs> wood, wind and so on. Well done. Good round, that. No telephone, but good scores. Constance and Richards, 40. But Tony and Carol, 45. Oh, we're still in Right, Joe, but we got a good game. We, we'll join you in part two with the rest of it. See you right then.
Time for you at home, of course, to win a special prize. And the special prize on offer right now is a five-course meal with champagne aboard the British Pullman carriages of the Venice Samplon Orient Express. Now then. And to, to, to win that prize, all you've got to do is solve the puzzle on the screen. It's what actors make of a crisis. Five letters. It's what actors make of a crisis. Five letters. If you know the answer, ring us at 0891 700 100. Lines are open till midnight. We'll tell you the answer and who's won after tomorrow's show. OK. Back in the studio. Only five points between the teams. It's hardly one small clue, really. Constance and Richards are trailing, so they're going first in the anagram round. Here comes the puzzle. And the clue word says, Reaper, we're looking for the first letter of all six answers. So, Constance and Richards, choose Three a clue. across, please. For instance, it's worthy of imitation. Example. Yes, well done. <laughs> Gives us an E and Tony and Carol. Two down. You'll need no other luggage with this. It's oh. a good one. Constance and Richard? Five down, please. It's a plate of fish. A plate of fish. That's a sneaky one as well. Tony and Carol. Mm, one, one down. Oh, oh right, did you want that? Like. One down. One, one down, down. Yeah, please. Okay. This can always raise the dough. Yeast. 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 <laughs> we have a Y, Constance and Richard. Two down, please. You'll need no other luggage with this. Hold on. Good girl, well done. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. <laughs> Tony and Carol? Six across. Six across, please. It's an afterthought if you're willing. No, you won't like that one, I'll <laughs> no. tell you. Thank Constance you. and Richard. <laughs> Five down, please. It's a plate of fish. Yes. You've forgotten, haven't you? Yeah, forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> Memory like a ferret. Uh, no good? <laughs> OK, it's only Carol. Down, I, I think. think we better have four yeah. down. Yeah, it's not doing very well with this one. Was it tickled to be scored by Schubert? <laughs> fancy? <laughs> no, it wasn't this fancy. It's a good <laughs> <laughs> fancy. You tickled your fancy? Of course it probably did, but there's no answer to that. If the referee says fancy, he's got to be right. OK, Constance and Richard. Four down. <laughs> Was it tickled to be scored by Schubert? Well, we know there's not a place of fish, it's a trout. Tickled trout, well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Tony and Carol, you've got one of those two that you don't like. Which one? I suppose mm. six across. It's an afterthought if you're willing. <laughs> it's not easy. There's Constance and Richard. A five down again. It's a plate of fish. <laughs> it's a plate. Batter. Platter. Platter. Um, no, none of them. Um, no. OK, now, are we in a state where we could do an extra clue? What do you reckon, everybody? Several, I should think. Several, all right. <laughs> well, we'll stay, we'll stay on five down. Every, right. so, fingers on the buzzers, everybody. I'll give you an extra clue. Now, the original clue is it's a plate of fish. That's extremely obscure. It is right. It's a good clue, but it's very obscure. So ignore that totally and let me say, stand on, it, on this to weigh yourself. Scale. Yeah, yeah. scale. <laughs> it's right, yeah, yeah. Because the plates on a fish, like, you know, armour plating are scales, right? So you've got that now. Constance and Richard, does that help you? Do you want to press your buzzer and tell me what the anagram is? No? Yeah. OK. Well, Tony and Carol, you, you're stuck with six across, but at least you've got a C in there now. Got an extra letter, OK? An, an S. Oh, we're seeing the thing, yes. Yeah. So here's the, here's the clue again for six across. It's an afterthought if you're willing. <laughs> Constance and Richard, any good? Afterthought? Uh, roll call. Yeah. No. no. All right, fingers on the buzzers again. Now, I'm just going to change this ever so slightly. I think you should get it then. It's an afterthought if you're making a will. Codicil. Yes. Codicil. Codicil, that's right. Well done. Uh, well, right. Well, Tony and Carol have control of the game. You've got a couple of seconds. Press your buzzer. To, uh, will you all, you'll have to cancel Constance's buzzer. You post that at 10. Well, I've made chesty out of it. Chesty is a good answer, but it's not correct. So, Constance, <laughs> press your buzzer. And it, Scythe. Scythe, the Grim Reaper. Scythe. Grim Reaper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, 
but goodness gracious, what a trauma. <laughs> it, it was indeed. Dear but God. tickled trouts and codicils and chesties, I can't tell you. So there we are. Well, I have to say, Tom, I thought Richard and I were pretty pathetic, not being able to make a six letter word. Well, I've got to tell you, pathetic no actually is pulling see. it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but never mind, it was a good Dear. game, and, and you held your nerve there, Constance. You did, you did very well. <laughs> and you, it's made a big difference because Tony and Cal yes. are on 57 now, but Constance and Richard are 74. <laughs> So let's go back to a normal round. How long will this one take? Who knows? <laughs> let's start the car. The clue word is nay, and we're looking for two words. Constance and Richard. Uh, four across, please. Erica includes Old Testament and gets sexy books. Heather. No, it's not. That's a good answer because Erica is Heather. That's right. But not the answer we're looking for. Tony and Carol. Two down. Uh, yes, two down, please. Absurd and laughable. We hear. Ludicrous? Yes. Well done. Oh. Oh. Aha, and he spotted it already. Two words are? Frankie Howard. No, that's a very good answer, sir. <laughs> that's, a very, that's a very good answer, particularly as you see the spelling. You, you tumble the spelling, obviously. Mm -hmm. That isn't right, but who knows? Well, I can't even say it's wrong. Constance and Richard. Three across, please, Tom. How a rough voyage makes you feel sick, we hear. Sick, we hear. Sick. Squidgy, you know. Squidgy, no, good Squidgy. idea. <laughs> Goes with chesty. <laughs> Tony and Carol. Uh, can we try four across? Erica yeah. includes Old Testament and gets sexy books. Uh, the only oh. thing I can think is... is it Robbins, as in Harold Robbins. Uh, not, no, it isn't Harold Robbins, no. no. Although, obviously, you read them. Is. Constance and Richard. Yes, four four across, across, please. Erica includes Old Testament and gets sexy books. Erotica. Erotica. Oh, You've yeah. got O.T. <laughs> O.T. for Old Testament in the middle of Erica. All right, so Maybe Tony and Carol. Uh, oh, sorry, I beg your yeah. pardon. Yes, press yes. Uh, Up Pompey. Good girl, well done, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I see you, you press when you like. It's my fault mm -hmm. for, for not nice. telling you. Up oh, Pompeii, that's why uh, Tony was so near with mm. Frankie Howard. Yeah. Mm. Nay, nay, a thousand times nay. And Ludicrous was there. Uh, they're all names. Uh, how a rough voyage makes you feel sick, we hear. Nauseous. Oh, yes. Uh, oh. Six was going to be Senna. Oh. Yes. Uh, one down was Titter. Titty, you're not, missus. Mm. And five, I can't even do it right. Five down would have been Ammonia. And Frankie Howard was Lurkio or Lurcio in it. And yeah. there we are, Up Pompeii, uh, late and great, lovely man. So there we are. Good round. Tony and Carol, 65. Constance and Richard, 91. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, yes. Well done, Mrs. Yes. City Mrs. <laughs> so, well done. Coming up to another round. Here it comes. The clue word, uh, in fact, uh, this time is pound, and we're looking for two words again. Two words in the keyword. Constance and Richard. Five across, please. He played Alf Garnet, Mr. Beatty. Uh, Warren. Warren Beatty is right. <laughs> Tony and Carol. Yes, one down, please. David, who wrote Changing Places, in a Masonic Hall. Um, nope. Constance and Richard? Four down, please. Green and yellow wire goes to ground. Earth. Yes, the earth wire in the plug. <laughs> Tony and Carol? Six across. The six across. Adjust the watch between game and match, we hear. Sets. Yes. <laughs> Set. Hold it now. Hang on, hang on. Tony's Sorry. in charge of the game at the moment. Press your buzzer. And you think it is? Yes. Two it, words. It, animal homes. Yes. Animal yeah. homes. Exactly yeah. right. Animal yeah. homes. <laughs> they are animal homes. Let's go through them. Three across would have been Dre, as in squirrel. R Warren was rabbit. Set was a badger. David, who wrote Changing Places mm -hmm. in a Masonic Hall, was a lodge. Oh. Which would be a, a, a otter or I think a beaver. Yes. Mm. And for, uh, two down would have been den, as in lion or wolf. Yeah. And fox yeah. for earth. There we are. Good. Good mm. scores. Mm. So Tony and Callow are up to 79, but still in the front. Constance and Richard, 102. Good. Yeah. Good game. So on to another puzzle with not an awful lot of time, but enough to, to draw a level if we put, oh, especially with long clues. Uh, clue word is regulate. Constance and Richard. One across. 
Music while you work when you don't know the words. Whistle. Whistle while you work, yes. Good. Thank you. Well done. Tony and Carol. Two down, Two down please. Fergie's budgie goes for oh. a whirl. Helicopter. Yes. <laughs> Six across, please. Oh, and the bus oh. is gone. No, no. Oh, I thought it was stop after those words. No, it's not. No. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Constance Richard, sorry. Uh, six across, please. A horse rider in the photo album, maybe. No, no. okay, Tony and Carol. Uh, yes, four across, please. Could such a. Oh. No. No. Right. I'll fill the gap. It was going to be river. Five across was going to be box. A horse rider in the photo album, maybe, was mounted. As in a mounted oh. picture. Oh. And three down would have been patrol, and they should have led you to police. Uh. Police patrol and oh, regulation yes. and all the rest of it. Yeah. It didn't matter because yeah. at the end of the round, the end of the game, the end of everything, Tony and Carol have 89, yeah. but the winners are Constance and Richard with 109. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well played. Tony, what a great run, though. I mean, at one point you were streaking away, and all of a sudden, bang. Started too well, you see. Well, it's the, the old uh, sporting term. It's a game of two halves, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just have to have a couple of hours tonight to recover, I, I, I think. I think you will, actually, <laughs> yes. OK, but thanks for playing the game anyway. Give our love to Wiltshire. Yes, Will. Thank you very and much. And good luck with the referee and everything. Okay. And, and yeah. Carol, what can I say? You, you see, as soon as you chip in, it all goes to bits, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sticking to numbers. It was, it, it, was got, it was a bad sign when she got Chester right at the beginning. I thought, hello. <laughs> That's right. It's either going to be 2,000 nil or she's going to get battered here. <laughs> Never mind. Good luck tomorrow. Stay with us now a minute and a half as we wish well to Constance and Richard. I've got to tell you, Constance, I keep, I keep saying good girl, you know. Isn't it awful? And you're a school <laughs> it's teacher nice, as well, aren't you? actually, yes. yes, yes the, are there right. any of the pupils watching? They're saying he's calling oh, Miss I, a girl? They will be yeah. when, yes, okay. to boo loudly. Oh, well, let's see. <laughs> let's hope they're watching you win a holiday right yes. now. Fingers crossed for you. We've got a lovely holiday inside this little voucher. All we need to do is find ten clues in 60 seconds. Here's our crossfire, Anne. We wish you well. Choose a clue. One across, please. Old-fashioned place for the market. Square. Yes. Two down. To be or not to be? Question. That's question. question. Yes. Three down. The fright which wakes us up in the morning. Alarm. Yes. Five across. Having reference to an uncle, say. Relative. Yes. Six across. Unable to answer like batsmen sometimes. Stumped. Stumped. Yes. Seven down. Sweet like the buds of May. Darling. Darling. Yes. Eight across. He may have a private role in the forces. Nine down. A vision connected with a midsummer night. Dream. Dream. Yes. Ten across. Perry, investigator or stone. Mason. Yes. Uh, four down. Look hard at a nobleman. Pierre. Yes. Eight across. He may have a private role in the forces. A soldier. Yes! Well done. And of course, I hear your voice through a, a microphone speaker, and there wasn't a tremor all the way through. Oh. <laughs> it was wonderful, well played. I'll keep you in suspense no longer. Yes. If, the, if the pupils are watching, they'll know you've won a week's fly drive holiday for two in the south of France. Well, there you are. Cool. Yes, yes. I have to learn to drive first. You've got to learn to drive. Can you parlay you? Can you speak? Yes. She's going to learn to drive this concert. Richards is going to join us tomorrow. We're running out of time. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Until we do, take care of yourselves. Oh, and uh, what was that? Oh, I know. Never a crossword. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.